just a quick prequel or overture to a concept I'm developing. Hope to be putting up on another video soon. In response to people who say, to those uh, like my wife and I who believe that God is one individual, and they'll reference the prayer, the baptism of Jesus, and say, what was God doing? Speaking to himself? And in short, the answer is yes. And like I say, I'm going to be explaining this further, how the Bible illustrates that people talk to themselves all the time in the Bible, and God is one of those people. He is a person. He is an individual. We're made in his likeness. We do similar things to him. And I just thought of this abstract notion that you might consider or think about. A what if, as they say, a little mental exercise I do sometimes. What ifs can give me insight. Uh, well, what if I could create a duplicate of me that I could physically see and converse with? Would that be useful? Would that be helpful? You know, never mind what I like that. That's a question you might think, well, Mark, you got problems if you want that. I don't know. I talk to myself anyway. God did talk to himself. The Bible clearly explains that he accomplishes his goals after the counsel of his own will. That's what it says in Ephesians 1. He counsels with the messengers too. It says in Isaiah 44, 26, word for messengers mean the angels. So he does things with us. He does things with his creation. Does things with the angels. Now I say does because he didn't just do some things and then he stopped. Now the ball is out there rolling and he's just observing everything. I believe he's living his life and he's living it in contact with us. And we are aware to different levels how deep or how intimate that contact is. But he is living it. He had to place Moses in the cleft of the rock and pass by. He came here as one of us. So naturally, he sent his word into the world. He personified his word. So yes, he's going to speak with that word. Just as you would. If you could do that, I, most of us probably would. It would be neat if right now I had a perfect copy of me to bounce things off of. That would be like a reflection. It wouldn't be actually be me. But it's like in my mind, I think, I consider, I have to be able to look at two different things at the same time. That doesn't mean I'm two people. So God... When he became a man, he had another perspective he didn't have before. So he was communicating things within his own mind, with his own spirit. Again, I'm talking about what I believe. Jesus' spirit is the Holy Spirit. I don't understand completely the mystery of God becoming a man. That man had a spirit. That's that's the mystery. It's the Because it all points to the depth of his love. The mystery is not how do three things be one thing or one thing or three things the mystery is how can we be loved that profoundly that deeply that powerfully that passionately that the creator of all things would become like us but when you look at it through that lens it makes it immensely clear to me once he became a man he did ask questions and he did say let this cup pass from me nevertheless so he did everything right and he did it as a man but I just wanted to ask you to consider that about the the nature of when we talk to ourselves when we think about things and that remember in, in the Greek the word for conscience does mean co-perception so if you co-perceive something you're an individual who co-perceives you consider two things, the good, the evil, the right, the wrong, the want, the I don't want, the need, I don't need, whatever it is, you are having a conversation within yourself all the time. And if you weren't, you would just be on automatic. You would just be going off whatever you're programmed for, instinct or 
some sort of hard drive that would be in you, there would be no considering, no conscious conscience. There would just be you being whatever you were made to be. But we have a choice, and that's the beauty of it. And God gave us that, and He shows us His great love in that. And that's what I love about it. It's not crazy to say that God talks to Himself. It's beautiful. In Jesus' name.